Hey homeschool friends, welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I am going to answer one of the questions that I get quite often on my channel. And that question is, why did I switch from Build Your Library and Torchlight to Sunlight? So after typing back a number of responses, I thought I would just make a video about it because maybe a number of you are also curious. But I did want to start this video by saying I have no intention of like bashing any of these curriculum companies. I have total respect for them as creators, especially Emily from Build Your Library. I just love her curriculum, but we all are unique families on unique journeys. And so I thought I would share our journey just in case it does help one of you. So stay tuned if you are at all curious as to why I decided to switch curriculums last spring, actually about a year ago. So hi, my name is Angie. Welcome to the channel if you're new here or welcome back if you've been coming for a while. So like I said, I'm gonna chat through why I decided to switch from Build Your Library, Torchlight to Sunlight curriculum. And I did that last spring and I'm gonna tell you a bit of the backstory as to how that happened. But first I want to highlight the programs. So Build Your Library is a secular literature based curriculum. It's created by Emily Cook. I will link her YouTube channel down below as well as the Build Your Library website. And I just loved her choices in books. I felt like she did an excellent job of bringing the ideas behind Charlotte Mason into kind of more of a modern setting with more modern books and more of a secular direction. So Build Your Library is fantastic. It goes from K to 12. So there's options for every level. And then there's the Torchlight curriculum, which I didn't use for as long, but I enjoyed it while I had it. I really liked their book selection. It is another curriculum that is literature based and it's also secular, although they don't have quite as many years out. I think they have through maybe year five, something like that. I'll have to look. I will again put the link down below to Torchlight. I looked into them because I feel like they push it even further into the modern literature as well as big emphasis on diversity, diversity in their literature and their authors. It's fantastic. So I loved both of those programs. At one point I was trying to combine them and trying to take the best from both sides. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a second. But then there's Sunlight, which I'm currently using, which Sunlight is a Christian literature based curriculum. And so you can see the literature based is a kind of common theme here, but Sunlight is Christian. And I have really enjoyed their program. They have been around for like 30 plus years they have a lot of vetting for their book selections which is fantastic their instructor guides are top-notch I feel like I have really enjoyed having my hand held by those instructor guides great questions just I feel like they have thought through everything so I have really enjoyed using sunlight for history Bible literature as well as science this past year so that is a bit about the companies. Again, I'll link them all down below. Now I wanna get into a bit of our backstory. So kind of how I was led down this path. So I have shared in a number of videos and one in particular where I talk about science and faith and being a Christian homeschooler, but sometimes using secular curriculum, how I do that, why I do that. I will link that video here because I really deep dive into that. And that's kind of an important aspect when I'm explaining this story because as like a new homeschool mom, so when I was a newbie, I was just not very confident. I was very wary of some of the religious curriculum out there, especially as it pertained to science. It was just hard for me to know what to do with that. So in that lack of confidence, I knew that I had to kind of stick more to the secular curriculum and then I was going to add Bible to it. And that is what I did. That is when I found Build Your Library and I was so excited when I found it and I was just all about picking up all the books and getting started with my kids when they were like five years old and four years old. I love the fact that it was literature based. I mean, I love books. I have a second booktube channel. That's how much I love books. So I gravitated towards literature based programs. And actually when I first started researching homeschool, the first companies I stumbled upon were Sunlight and My Father's World. And that was where I started. I just kind of started the ball rolling. I loved all the books, and, but yet I was just a little fearful of some of those messagings within those Christian curriculums about science. And so I just, I couldn't do it, to be honest. 
And so I found my home in Build Your Library and I loved it. It was wonderful. Emily does an amazing job of not only creating excellent curriculum, but also giving really good support. Her YouTube channel is great. She had different live events on her Facebook group. So I just felt very supported and just very excited. But then fast forward a couple of years and things had just changed in our family. So when I first started with my big kids, when they were four and five, that means my twins were one years old. And so then you add a couple years to them. And then last spring they were three years old and they were just a bit more of a challenge. And so I was struggling in a lot of ways. So the first thing I was struggling with was I was struggling with a Bible curriculum. I felt like I wanted that. I wanted our homeschool and my kids to be raised in just a rich Christian culture. And I was struggling with teaching Bible. One, I didn't grow up in a Christian home and so I feel like I had a little bit of a lack of confidence so I was really leaning heavy on curriculum but I was having a tough time finding curriculum that wasn't like too much. Like I mean they weren't that old, they're still pretty young or it was too loose or in the sense that I would have to kind of pull the books myself and figure out how to organize it. Okay so I was struggling with finding good Bible. I was struggling with the fact that my twins were three years old and a lot more disruptive. And at that time, my science choice was nature study because we were going off of the Build Your Library Level 1 program, which I loved. I loved all the books. I loved it all except for the nature study. The thing is, guys, I love nature. We are a camping, hiking kind of family. I just don't love nature with twin three-year-olds. They make it very hard. And I was just feeling discouraged because I had gone from like different nature curriculums. I even have videos. I'll link them if you're interested in nature study for young kids because I really like that. It's very Charlotte Mason. It was hitting all my buttons, but I found that I was not capable of doing it. I just don't have the personality for it, nor do I have a set of kids where it's an easy thing to do. And so I was just kind of battling against that. So all these fronts, I was finding myself really just struggling, struggling with myself and kind of my ideals and how I wanted things to go, as well as just struggling with just the reality of, of my kids and trying to come up with a Bible study and all of these things. So I hit that point last spring. And that was about the time we were combining Build Your Library and Torchlight, which I mean, I know that sounds overly ambitious, but I wasn't like using two programs at once. I was just pulling from my favorite parts of both and I love the book list from both. And so that's what we were doing. And one of the things I was learning, which I kind of already knew, was that my kids are a bit sensitive. They always have been. We don't watch very violent movies because they'll have nightmares and they don't like that. And we won't read books that are too intense or like monster focused, like big, bad, evil sort of focused because they just don't handle it and they don't need to. My gosh, they will grow up and they will read those books eventually. I don't need to like force them to read that, right? And so I was finding that I was having a tougher time with the levels of Build Your Library and Torchlight that I had chosen. And part of it was me, right? Like I could have stopped and waited six to nine months and they might have been way more ready, which is very true. I just didn't know what to do in the meantime. I felt like I was spinning my wheels. Like some of the book selections were just too much for my kids. And it's different for every family. I mean, you all know that. So this is my experience with my family. Like I said, they are a little bit more sensitive, but I just did not know what to do. I did not know where to go. I couldn't just pause it and make it up myself. I've learned that because I thought about that. I was getting inspired to like, oh, I can craft my own curriculum. I can bring in my own resources and just map out the page numbers and things like that. And I loved that idea. I just can't do it. I couldn't do it. It overwhelmed me. Even though it excited me and I thought it would be fun, I just couldn't pick it up. And so all of that to say, we got to a point in the spring where I was talking to my husband and I was like, I just can't do what I'm currently doing. And so he was like, what would make it better? And I was like, if I had something that really just told me what to do that did a lot more handholding, but was still very similar to the curriculum I love because I just couldn't bring myself to switch to something that didn't resonate as much with me and my kids because we all loved the book reading aspect of Build Your Library and Torchlight. And then I told him, Honestly, I just want to pick up sunlight, but it's so expensive. We can't afford that. We shouldn't do that. That's why I was telling him, he's like, you should just do it. And so I did. I bought like the full price from the catalog sunlight level to start this fall. And it's been amazing. It has been a huge weight that was lifted off of my shoulders. 
and I'm so thankful that I decided to make that switch, even though it was a challenging switch for me to make. And the reason I ended up with sunlight was really twofold. One, I needed the hand holding with Bible. I just wanted something that incorporated Bible in the mix, that kind of told me what to read, that gave me questions, that just held my hand a little bit more. I was very hesitant, like I said, to pick up a Christian curriculum because of some of the science stuff, which I have addressed in a number of my sunlight videos. How Just Sunlight has a more open take on some of that. They are very much a Christian company, but they hold the stance that there is a spectrum of belief on certain things like whether it be evolution or age of the earth, where you can be Christian and still be within that spectrum. And they are just a little bit more honoring of the parents to guide that than to assume a certain stance, if that makes sense. In a nutshell, that's what drew me to sunlight and made me less anxious picking up sunlight, even though it was a Christian program. And the second thing about sunlight that made it perfect was that it was lit based. Like I said, I just love lit based. I loved that it was all planned out for me, all the books. It had schedules, it had questions for history, for Bible, like I said, but also for science and for all our read alouds. And I felt like I could go forward with the read alouds and I wouldn't have a problem of my kids being too sensitive, at least for right now. It has been a good choice that they really haven't had any issues with that. And so I'm so thankful. I, one, don't have to worry about that. And two, I don't have to pre-read books because that's what I was doing is I had to start pre-reading some Torchlight or Build Your Library books to make sure that they weren't too much for my kids. And some of them were. And so I had to then change things up and do it myself. So that was really the second thing about sunlight that drew me in is one, it held my hand for Bible and two, it held my hand for the rest of the literature as well. That is really why I switched. And I feel like that's most of the time why I switch. I very rarely switch because I dislike a curriculum. I usually love the curriculum. It just doesn't work for our family in this current season. And that's okay. I can love a curriculum and still step away from it. And that does not make it a bad curriculum. You all know that. So yeah, that's how the switch happened. But to be honest, guys, I still look at the book lists for Build Your Library. I still follow Emily on her YouTube channel. And I plan to use some of the books from level one and level two as we transition to early world history next year for Sunlight. And I had already purchased the Build Your Library Instructor Guide, so I can have some of those questions, so I can help me with some extra read-alouds, which we tend to do in the evenings with my kids. And so I definitely plan on still supporting Build Your Library or, or really any literature-based program where I pull the books from their lists. I will probably buy the curriculum, even if I don't use it hardly at all. I like to pull the questions, but I also like to support the creators. So that's where I'm at. I hope that wasn't too rambly. I hope it actually made a little bit of sense and also answered that question that a lot of you have been asking me. I hope it was helpful in the end. Let me know down below if it was. Let me know down below if you have any other questions or if you have questions about any of those three curriculum that I can answer for you, potentially I can, um, let me know down below. Otherwise, if you like these kinds of videos where I share a little bit of my story as well as my love of curriculum, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you would like to. And otherwise, guys, I will see you in the next homeschool video. All right, take care.